Out of all the 5 stars in patch 2.4, Shenha might be the most overlooked one, which is understandable since the other 3 banners are characters that we've already seen before and already know the potentials of. Ganyu turns Genshin into an FPS game where you don't actually need to aim, Zhongli makes your team basically unkillable with his beefy shield, and Zhao got them hops I guess. Oh and he's edgy as fuck. You're not allowed to unfollow me. You're my oomph. No one else is! This puts Shenha in a tough spot where most people would probably skip her and to add to that, Yaimiko has just been drip marketed by Mihoyo and you know a lot of players are gonna skip 2.4 banners for some side booba. Before I get into the details of Shenna's kit, I would like to preface that these are pre-release data and could be changed upon her actual release. In my last video, I talked about how Shenha might be a very good support for Ayaka because of the versatility of her E skill. Basically, tapping Shenha's E buffs a cryo DPS character's elemental skill and burst, while holding boosts normal, charged, and plunging attacks. These effects come from her passive talents, but aside from these, her E skill provides ice equal stacks which have a fixed number of stacks, 5 for a tap E and 7 for a hold E. In addition, these stacks are consumed, not based on the number of attacks your character does, but on the number of enemies hit. So basically, if you hit 3 enemies with Ayaka's charged attack, which has 3 slashes total, then it would consume all 7 stacks, assuming hold E was used. This could be troublesome, since for the remainder of Shenha's E skill cooldown, there would be no more ice equal stacks left, and it's basically a dead skill at that point. However, her passive talents which increase elemental burst slash skill or normal charged and plunging attacks last as long as the cooldown of the E skill. So even if the ice equal stacks were to be consumed before the skill duration ends, she still provides these buffs. On the bright side, Shenna's ice equal buffs are not based on her base attack like Bennett's Q, but it's based on her current attack. This means that all attack stats coming from your artifacts would add up to the ice equal buff that she provides. And here's an idea that I think could work out. Since it's based on her current attack, then an example of a rotation could be Bennett Q to Shenha Q, then E skill. By doing this, Shenna's current attack would be increased by Bennett's Q, further increasing the buff that her ice equal stacks could give. Now we'll have to see how Shenna's skills and kit actually work, and for that, we'll just have to wait for her actual release. I think Shenha would still be a great cryo support, but that's all she is, a cryo support. So unless you are absolutely sure that you'll be using a cryo main DPS for a long time, then I suggest not to pull for Shenha, because you might not be able to use her effectively with non-cryo DPS characters, but that's just my opinion. So what do you guys think about Shenha? As an Ayaka main, I'm still planning to pull for her though, not because of her hips as a mage, because of her fe feelings. You know, cause she has such a sad story and all. 